Yeah, it's been a really great team launch, and yeah, we're really lucky to have uh, to have a great venue in Manchester here uh, um, at Pop Up Bikes, and uh, it's really nice to bring a team launch to this part of the country. To be honest, we're off now uh, over to France for a few weeks training um, in preparation for the women's uh, women's tour, which is the Tour of Britain that's uh, been launched this year. The women's tour, you know, it's, it's a huge event. It's televised. It's got the biggest the biggest teams in the world and some of the, the real heroes of British women's cycling like Lizzie Armitstead coming back to race and it's going to be a real honour to line up next to them um, and then the Tour Series, the Town Centre events are really going to be exciting this year. Are you going to smash it? Oh, we're going to try. Roller Plaza stuff is really, really good. It's, it really gets the crowd going wild. It's quite exciting. We're down to the final of the mm -hmm. women's now, so that's quite exciting. Excellent. And who's, who's going to win? Well, it's Penny versus uh, Harriet, so could be either. Are they both on the team, is they? <laughs> both on the team. <laughs> I think that's cheating, but yeah. yeah. Hey. Um, the most important thing we've got are the uh, the women's tour, which is a UCI stage race in Britain, first ever time. Really exciting, massive race. All of the biggest pro teams in the world will be there: Mariana Voss, Lizzie Armstead, Emma Pooley, um, and then our team. And then we have the uh, the tour series races, the Criterium. So, uh, so you're going to win them all, yeah? Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, as a team, collectively, there's no reason why we can't win all of the Tour Series. And as a team, there's no reason why we can't get in the top 10 every stage of the Women's Tour. Okay, it's time for the ladies' final final. Into your starting positions, please. Starting position number 11, Lizzie Armstead. Number 12, Emma Pooley. Number 13, I mean, I'm the sprinter in the team, so they were expecting me to win. Um, and when I didn't get the fastest qualifying, it was a bit like, oh god, but yeah, it was nice to win, see yeah. how things go. Yeah, Tour of Britain and uh, we've got the Tour Series round, so they're talented to Brits, which I'm better at, so um, hopefully this is a good sign for them to come. How many are you going to win? I'll hold this, um, I'm gonna does this one count? <laughs> I'm going to yeah. count this one, so I'm going to say, let's go for six, six including wins. this, yeah. I'll put that out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you get more, more obviously I'm going to, you know. I'll um, give you a five. Oh man, I'm totally going to hold you to that. I, sh I shouldn't win really, should I? Because should I'm going to lose money. <laughs> very worthy winners, always very worthy, especially seeing as the, uh, the women's winners were from the very team that the event is for. Of course, they're doing the Ladies Tour of Britain as well. What, what are your thoughts on that? It'd be absolutely fascinating to see how it's run and how it's accepted. I, I think one of the biggest problems facing women's um, racing in general is uh, air, air time. Basically, they need to get the biggest thing that can happen, I think, is for it to be shown on TV for people to actually watch it. And that might generate some interest and some sponsorship. Cracking night. It was, uh, it was really good fun. Um, really good people. We were expecting 120. I think we saw that. I think we saw 150, maybe. It was a really good turnout. I think it, it's just it's different people that are going to be looking at this now. You, you look at the people that came here tonight, and they're, they're, they're very different to your usual sort of using inverted commas for cyclist types, you know. So it is opening this whole thing up for people. It's fascinating, yeah. Tons of fixies as well. Yes. Does, does that help with the Royal Palooza? The fixies tend to be highly competitive. So um, you can see how it went hand in hand with Royal Palooza. Yeah, I don't get it, Let's give it to the first one. Come here, come here. Hi, Charlie! 